You see what you brought me to, Gwen? To get you to listen? You stole the best part of me. My little boy. Now I have something that you want. And maybe you won't be so smug and you'll listen to me and you'll just give me my child back. Teresa. I cannot approve of what you've done. But I understand why you did it. I hope I never have to know what it's like to lose a child. You hang in there, okay? You're all buying this? You are... You're buying this Teresa the victim yet again? Please remind me. I mean, this is the... The same little Ethan who's back at the mansion playing video games on his brand new computer. <laughs> Wonder if his new pony's arrived yet. Honey, how about this weekend we, uh, we, we give little Ethan a tour of the Grand Canyon on the crane jet? Little Ethan is fine. Teresa, he's fine and he's happy. But what about my little Sarah? Because I never got to tuck her in. And she'll never need a band-aid and she'll never get a new pony. But she sure got a ride in the crane jet, all right. And her coffin on the way to Harmony to be buried because you killed her, Teresa. When I understand that you've convinced yourself that I'm to blame for Sarah's death. But in your heart, deep down, you know I didn't kill her. The hell you didn't! I know how badly you want to have a baby, Gwen. I do. I know how your heart aches to have Ethan's child in your arms. Well, you know what? My arms are empty, too. And I will be happy to hand you over this baby the moment it's born. If you just give me my son back. So that's the deal, Gwen. One child for another. Okay, you pushed and you pushed, and now I'm pushing back. You have my son, and I have your embryo. You will have your child back, I promise you. If I get little Ethan first. Get Dr. Simmons in here now. I want my eggs taken out of her immediately. I don't care what you have to do, cut her open. You just get those eggs out of her room now. Quit. It cannot be done. Oh, no? I mean it. You get that doctor in here right now or I will cut you open myself. I don't care if I have to cut Teresa open myself. You get my eggs out of her now. Gwen. Gwen, let's just calm down. Teresa has Dr. Simmons unknowingly implant my fertilized eggs into Teresa so she can use my baby as a bargaining chip to get little Ethan back and I'm supposed to be calm. Well, to hell with that and to hell with that. No, 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 honey. No, stop. Stop. Do it, Gwen. Do it. Gut her like the barracuda she is. You give me my baby back, Teresa. You give me my baby back. Good. I want Teresa arrested for possession of stolen property. Gwen's fertilized eggs. Give me that bottle. I'll slice her open myself. Just stop. No one is slicing anyone open with anything, all right? Here's the deal. You and your mother are going to calm down, okay? Calm down? You want me to calm down, Ethan? This is the worst thing Teresa's done yet. She has our child growing inside of her, Ethan. Our child. You have my child, Gwen. My child. Okay. You stole him from me, and turnabout is fair play. Teresa, you are psychotic. Psychotic and shameless. Stop talking about my daughter that way. Uh oh, stick a taco in it, Pilar. I told you this would end badly, okay? We took her son. How did you think she'd react? Yeah, Ethan, being upset is one thing, but assaulting our surrogate and deceiving the staff into stealing my fertilized eggs? What Teresa has done is beyond outrageous. Uh, I think we should hang her from the nearest IV pole and beat her till the eggs fall out of her. It's a horrible thing to say, Rebecca. Do not even start with me, Eve. My grandchild is inside that slut and I want it back. Give me my child, Gwen, and I will give you yours. That is extortion. You drove me to this, Gwen. You stole my child from me. This is your fault. This is my fault, Risa, right? you're not helping matters here. Rip her tongue out. That would help. Ethan, you, you, 
You need to do something about this. What? We took her son. This is her way of striking back. Whose side are you on? Are you really standing here defending her? Because if you are, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you and I'm never going to look back. Of course I'm on your side. I love you and your husband, but I won't lie to you. I get why Teresa did what she did. What? But you understand the mind of this unconscionable thief? Well, I certainly don't. E even her own mother doesn't. I mean, did you see Pilar almost fainted when she found out what her egg-stealing Avita had done? Please don't speak for me, Rebecca. I may not condone my daughter's actions, but like Ethan, I understand them. This vendetta that you have against Teresa to avenge Gwen's baby's death drove her to such extremes. She was desperate to get her little boy back. So she felt she had no choice but to take Ethan and Gwen's baby hostage. I don't care what happens to her. I just want my baby back. Dr. Russell, you get my eggs out of Teresa now. There's no way I'm consenting to surgery. Who said anything about getting your consent? I'm going to hold you down while the doctors do their job. No, you will not. Ethan and Gwen can't have their baby until after it's born. That's only if I get my child back first. Please help me, Dr. Russell. Yes, Eve. Teresa is in possession of stolen property, so you either get it back or prepare yourself for the mother of all lawsuits against this hospital. The hospital can't be held liable for this, Rebecca. Teresa committed a deliberate fraud. There was no way for Dr. Simmons to know that she wasn't the real surrogate. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do if, if Teresa doesn't consent to having the eggs removed. Which I don't. Hateful no, no, no. Ethan, this is crazy. Okay, because Teresa has broken all sorts of laws here. I mean, you're a lawyer. You have to do something. Gwen, look at me. First, you have to calm down, because being this upset isn't going to do any good. What do you want me to do? Be su supportive and understanding of her like you are? Ethan, she, she has our baby. I want it back. Gwen, you have my baby, and I want him back. Teresa. Don't stop. No, stop. Get... Come on. Come on. Come on. We always seem to be at a stalemate here. Teresa, no matter what your motivation, your actions have been very destructive to many people. I would like you to leave. I'd like you to go right now, please. Come on, Teresa. Fox and I will take you back to the house, okay? Okay. Thank you, Whit. <gasps> you can't just let her leave. <sighs> let it go, Gwen. All right. Teresa may have a fatal accident later on. No, she can't, Mother, because she's carrying my child. 